Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I want to talk to you all about something that I see a lot of comments about on videos on the channel. It's like, I'm not going to play the game until they fix the controller aim assist issues or just the controller issues on PC, and I've tried to do some digging. I myself have felt like my Elite 2 controller just doesn't work. You know, it's it, it just never feels like it should um in halo and i feel like that's where i see the biggest difference in terms of the satisfaction of gameplay when i play games um i don't play a ton of different games but like something like destiny 2 it's very different to compare halo and destiny 2 just because of the type of aim assist and stuff you get so i have been feeling like forever forever that I just wasn't getting the same type of reaction uh, from my controller on Halo Infinite when I play it. You know, I watch these clips and hear people talking about how strong controller is, you know, how overpowered controller is in Halo, and, like, I just never felt like I was a part of that group. I just was always like, man, I don't understand why I can't, like, finish my shots on people. You know, there are no shields and stuff. I looked at my accuracy on Halo Tracker, and I was like in the the 40s, like 44%, 46% in terms of accuracy, you know, like in ranked with the BR. And I was like, man, I'm just trash. I'm old. I'm just not good at it. It's not the controller or anything. You know, I messed around with some settings and stuff. Um, but I just really feel like it comes down to the Elite Series 2. And I did a ton of digging, a ton of testing. I actually went into the bot training stuff where you, you know, you play the bots and stuff. I took shooting off and you know equipment and grenades and stuff and i put their movement on spartan and strafing on so like they're just moving around and stuff and i put my controller reticule like using the controller over top of the bot to see if like my aim assist would kick in and follow the bot around like in some of those clips nothing i'm going to show the clip up on here um while i'm talking about it I actually recorded it, so I was like, man, everybody else, you know, they, they get this stuff, I checked my dead zones, blah, 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 blah. I also made sure that my mouse was unplugged and not wireless and stuff, so to try to make sure that there, were no there was nothing that could affect the outcome. So I did some digging, and I found out that for some reason, on the Elite Series 2, the default stick setting is different than like other controllers so once i figured that out i went to the xbox accessories app which is what you see up on here on my pc and um i started messing around so on the right stick if you click up here you can change this stuff and so i changed the sensitivity curve to smooth there's other ones on there i heard delayed was actually good um because it's supposed to keep you on there but i really like the smooth setting and this is where we change the biggest culprit. So I have it on true diagonal. Some people use axis independent. I use that as well. But the default is radial. And this thing is trash. I don't know what it does or how it affects the game. But as soon as I went to true diagonals, I felt a huge difference in the game. So I changed that. I changed the sensitivity curve uh, from default to smooth. And I put on true diagonals. And... Um, I started to see a huge difference. It just felt like the controller was more sticky, I guess. The next thing I did was I went to the properties on Halo Infinite and uh, I changed controller, enable Steam input. Now, I had been told that you need to take this off uh, to disable it. And I did that and I've gone back and forth. I've done some testing. Um, I've turned it on in between different games and stuff um where i'll sit and play halo and then with it off and then i'll play those games and then with it on and i have seen a difference in my accuracy the percentage in those games too so what i found personally and you can mess around with this as well is when it's on i'm fine i did not see a huge difference in disabling it so that's what i'm gonna say the next setting that you can look at is under the menu in settings going down the controller and I actually have the Xbox Extended Feature Support Driver installed. And I think that I've seen people say that this makes a huge difference. Um, and I've also seen people say to uninstall it. I did it with two different, you know, sessions where I had it on and off. I saw a difference when I had it installed. But again, this is all like you guys can 
and can change it or whatever. So those are my settings within stuff outside of the game. The next thing that I adjusted inside of Halo Infinite was my dead zones again. So if you go to settings controller, I went down to the look dead zone and the move dead zones, um, the look thumbstick, move thumbstick. And these are my settings. I don't know if you guys know, but the max input threshold I have at 15 because it picks up how, f like, how quickly it does your max input. So I have it all the way set up for movement. So I'm like bobbing and weaving faster, you know, like my strafe speed is super high. My center dead zone is zero for my move thumbstick and the axial dead zone is two. It's just like a, an extra layer of stuff. I, it, there's so many options in here, but this is what I've found works for me on my move thumbstick. Um, you don't really, so infinite, you know, aim assist kicks in if you have any type of movement on your thumbsticks. And it really has seemed to help. Um, my settings before, like I didn't want stick drift and I had this pretty high. Um, on both of these thumbsticks and honestly I like in games you you think that you don't want that and that might be true for other games um, so but in Halo I haven't really seen a huge difference um, in these settings now other than the fact that I'm more accurate and I feel like I have better aim assist so my look thumbstick I have it down to zero this right here the max input threshold I think is up to you I think that you should play around with this. And then my actual axial dead zone is at a one. And all these settings combined, all the changes that I've made, I've seen a huge difference. So now when I go and I play bots or, um, you know, just regular people, I've seen a huge difference in my aim assist and in my accuracy stats. So what I'll do is I'll play a bunch of games using these settings and then I'll play a bunch of games using my default settings. Um, I actually saved it and I changed everything back. And um, I'll go from having, you know, like a 44 to 46% accuracy using like the BR and ranked to changing these things. And then I go up to like a 56% accuracy and stuff and I'm getting more kills and I'm winning my gun battles. And I'm just overall doing better. And I had been like head casing for so long thinking that I was the problem. When in reality, it's settings and a little bit of the elite controller. So we just hopped into a game real quick with bots just to show you guys. I took like shooting and everything off. It's on Spartan movement with strafing and stuff. You can tell they're like going crazy right now. And then you saw my aim assist already kick in. Like I'm not touching the controller at all. This is with the sidekick. Um, the aim assist values are different with like every gun, but you can see I'm not even touching the sticks and it was picking that guy up, you know, so that's already a huge difference from that clip that I showed you before where, you know, like my reticle is just staying on top of that dude and it's just not picking him up. And like now, like I'm getting aim assist, like I can actually like tell that there's a huge difference. I'm actually keeping with him. So like it should be in theory, you know, a lot easier to kill people as I just did really bad right there. So like I said, I, I can tell a huge difference. Like before, like if I was like moving and I was like going over somebody, I didn't feel any type of reticle friction, like keeping me on top of them. But now when I'm like strafing, I'm like staying on him. I only have to make little adjustments now. I've seen a huge difference um, in my own gameplay and like just stats wise. And like, that's another thing is like, if it was a mental thing, you know, like if I couldn't, if I thought that I was doing better and it felt like placebo or whatever it was, and like the stats didn't match up, then I would be a little bit more skeptical. But because my like actual stats get boosted up so much, I'm not trying to play any different. I, I played the game like how I would normally play and stuff. And seeing that 10% spike in accuracy, I just, I don't know. I don't think that it's placebo. I have the statistics to prove, you know, I have the anecdotal evidence and the clips of me not getting aim assist while using the old stuff, the old settings and using the new settings and getting such a huge drastic, you know, increase in my performance, I think is enough for me at least to be like, okay, something happened you know, I've changed something and it's for the better. So what I want you guys to do is to use some of these. You don't have to use all of them. You can test one thing at a time. Make sure that you like screenshot your settings. That way you don't, you know, forget them. I wanted to like harpoon that guy and kill him. And then let me know in the comments if you see a huge difference. You know, like if there's a, a big change, um, I would like to know. Come here, let me harpoon you. Yeah, bam. 
But that's gonna do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that this actually helps people. I see so many people complain about just controller on PC, especially. Like, it might not be that bad on um, console for whatever reason, but I just feel like it is, it has been difficult. You know, I've been having such a rough time with it. Um, I've been feeling like I'm just trash at Halo, so. That's going to do it, like I said, for the video. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like down below, especially if it helps you out. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We do Halo all the time, and it's great, and I love it, and I love meeting other people that like Halo. So definitely subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.